New details released in the murders of four University of Idaho students. How police say they were able to tie the suspect to the crime scene. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Steve Lacey. And I'm Natasha Verma. Accused killer Brian Koberger making his first court appearance today back in Moscow, Idaho, where he was ordered to be held without bond. And now that he's back in Idaho, prosecutors unsealed more documents related to the case. All right, Fox 5, Stephanie Bertini in the newsroom with the chilling new details that have just been released. Stephanie. The documents were just made public minutes before Koberger was due in court. Until now, few details about the quadruple murder. Investigators have released very little information because a magistrate judge recently issued a gag order preventing attorneys, law enforcement, and other officials from discussing the case, a case that's now under a national spotlight. Facing four counts of first-degree murder and a burglary charge. If you plead guilty or are found guilty, it is up to death and or imprisonment for life. Do you understand? Yes. 28-year-old Brian Koberger stood before a judge today, the day after he was extradited from Pennsylvania, where his parents live and where he was arrested in connection to the slayings of University of Idaho students 20-year-old Exana Kernodal, 21-year-old Maddie Mogan, 21-year-old Kaylee Gonsalves, and 20-year-old Ethan Shapin. Their bodies were found on November 13th at the rental home where the young women lived. Shapin was dating Kernodal and visiting the home. Court documents reveal someone else was inside the home too, a surviving female roommate who told investigators she was in her bedroom asleep but woke up around 4 a.m. to noises in the home. She said she heard one of the victims say, there's someone here, and she said she heard crying. That female roommate also said she opened her door three times and on the third time saw a figure clad in black clothing and a mask that covered the person's mouth and nose. The documents say he walked past her toward the sliding door. Also, according to the court documents, traces of DNA that matched Koberger were found on the button of a leather knife sheath found in the rental home where the victims were killed. The sheath had a U.S. Marine Corps insignia on it, though there's no record of Koberger having served in the military. No motive revealed yet in the case, but surveillance footage captured near the home showed a white sedan later identified as a Hyundai Elantra drove by the home three times in the early hours of the morning on November November 13th and a fourth time just after 4 a.m. The same vehicle spotted leaving the area a little later. That vehicle confirmed by investigators as belonging to Koberger and investigators documented that cell phone data shows Koberger traveled to the area of the victim's residence at least a dozen times between late June and the night of the killings. Koberger was arrested at his parents' home in Pennsylvania last week and agreed to be extradited to Idaho. This is after he was stopped in his vehicle with his father during two different traffic stops, making a road trip from Washington, where he went to school, to the family home.